Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Meghna and today I will be swatching and reviewing the L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature um, Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Um, now I got this as a PR. This is how, what it came as, like this nice red purse and then I've got these uh, 12 different shades in here. So yeah, without further ado, let's start with swatches. This is the shade I represent and this is an absolutely gorgeous pink shade especially for me it's very difficult to find like a really nice uh, pink shade for my skin tone I feel so uh, but this is like a really nice uh, pink it's not warm it's like a cool toned pink shade really nice and it's like it's like most of the time whenever I wear a pink lipstick because of the pigmentation on my lips it tends to look more purple than pink i'm not sure if you're able to understand what i mean but um yeah it looks more like a purple toned pink rather than just pink but this is like a really nice gorgeous pink it is i mean you can see my pigmentation peeking through but it is not affecting the color of my lipstick and i feel it will obviously uh, suit all skin tones like even a few shades darker than mine so yeah this was the shade i represent this is the shade I enjoy and this is like a really nice uh, dark berry shade, like a plummy berry shade. Um, it's a really nice vampy shade. It was um, a bit patchy though when I applied it. As you can see, it has collected a bit at the center of my lips. So it was a little bit patchy. Because of their thin consistency, I feel that it is a given um, that it might be the darker colors might be a little bit patchy. So you need to be, uh, so you need to, you know, take more time and apply more efforts to like get a thin thin even layer but overall it's a very nice shade obviously it's going to suit all skin tones uh, so this was the shade number 103 i enjoy
this is the shade number 105 i rule and this is a lovely uh, rosy nude type of shade it's looking really nice on my lips but i feel like i require a lip liner um and obviously my pigmentation is peeking through because this is a very light shade will require a lip liner if you are of my shade or you know shade uh, deeper than mine but on um skin tones that are lighter than mine i feel like this will be uh, quite a nice uh, rosy nude shade for them uh, so yeah this was the shade number 105 i rule this is the shade number 121 i choose and this is like a lovely uh, on my lips it looks like a lovely peachy nude i'm not really a fan of nude shades i hardly wear any nude or brown shades i'm more like a bright lips kind of a person but i personally really like this shade i feel like it would look better if i um, line my lips with a darker lip liner but somehow i do really like it for like a very um, you know like a natural a uh, subtle look this is a really nice shade for complexions that are deeper than mine obviously you are going to require a lip liner to make this shade work compared to other shades i expected this shade to be uh, patchy but to my surprise it was not patchy like i just applied uh, a single layer and you can see that i've got a uh, quite an even layer obviously uh, you can still um, you can still see the pigmentation peeking through but still i do really like this shade on me um but again i would really prefer uh, to wear this shade with a lip liner so yeah this was the shade uh, number 121 i choose this is the shade number 116 i explore and i did not expect this shade to look this good i mean it was a uh, compared to other shade it was a little bit patchy and even more so because i've got pigmented lips but after i applied a nice and even layer it looks like a really nice nude shade and i don't even think that you know i require lip liner with this lipstick because it looks good as is like lip liner um to apply a lip liner is not really a must for me right now i'm really loving this shade um i feel it will look really nice on all skin tone even including uh, complexions like mine for complexions deeper than mine i feel you would require like a, a dark brown lip liner or you know um a lip liner which matches the color of your lips but um this otherwise this is like a really nice uh, nude shade like it's more like a you know coffee brown kind of a nude um i feel but uh, yeah this was the shade number 116 i explore this is the shade number 130 i amaze and this is a brown shade with orange undertones like a rusty brown shade i hope i'm making sense in describing this color i'm not really sure but um yeah that that is what it looks like and um you know these orange based lipsticks they always make my uh, teeth look yellower than they already are that's why i try and avoid this kind of uh, lip shades but this is like a really nice pretty shade um and even you know the pigmentation it was not intense but it was quite good for a liquid lip with a uh, lip stain kind of consistency like a liquid consistency this this payoff is really nice you can see it has covered most part of the pigmentation of my on my lips and uh, yeah if you like these kind of rusty brown sort of like brown with orange undertone kind of lipstick then you should definitely check this one out um yeah, and i feel like it is uh, going to suit all skin tones even complexions that are one or two shades deeper than mine also could make this work without a lip liner so yeah this was the shade number 130 i amaze this is the shade number 129 i lead and uh, <laughs> again i feel like this is a really nice uh, brown shade even for complexions like mine without using a lip liner it looks really nice as compared to the previous shade that is i amaze this one is more a uh, pink toned you can see i'm not really sure if you can catch it on camera but um this this shade that is i lead is more pink toned compared to this one and uh, darker than i explore uh and pinkier than i explore but it's still really nice for complexions deeper than mine i feel like you will require a lip liner um personally i'm not really fond of these orangey browns but if you like them but if you're one of the people who like the orangey brown shades then you could definitely check this one out as well 
सो या दिस वॉज द शेड वन ट्वेंटी नाइन आई लीड दिस इज द शेड वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स आई प्ले एंड आई रियली 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 लव दिस शेड दिस इज लाइक अ डार्क चॉकलेट ब्राउन शेड ऑब्वियसली इट्स गोइंग टू सूट ऑल स्किन टोन इट इज लुकिंग फैबुलस ऑन माई कंप्लेक्शन लाइक इन पर्सन एटलीस्ट आई एम लविंग इट आई एम नॉट रियली श्योर हाउ इट इज लुकिंग ऑन कैमरा डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू लाइक दिस शेड ऑन मी बिकॉज आई लाइक पर्सनली लुकिंग इन टू द मेरा आई एम लविंग दिस शेड सो या दिस वॉज द शेड नंबर वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स आई प्ले दिस इज द शेड नंबर वन ट्वेंटी सेवन आई वाइब्रेट आई फील इट्स अ वेरी वियर्ड नेम फॉर अ लिपस्टिक सो दिस इज लाइक अ रियली नाइस ऑरेंज शेड लाइक इन द ट्यूब एटलीस्ट इट लुक्स लाइक अ वाइब्रेंट वाइब्रेंट ऑरेंज बट गुड थिंग दैट इट हैज स्टेन लाइक कंसिस्टेंसी दैट्स वाई इट्स क्वाइट श्योर सो इट डज नॉट लुक एज अ ब्राइट एज इट लुक्स इन द ट्यूब um but if you are a fond of orange lipsticks you could definitely uh, check this one out it will uh, suit all skin tones for complexions deeper than mine i'm not really sure but if you like orange lipsticks then you could definitely uh, go for this one so yeah this was the shade number 127 i vibrate this is the shade number 128 i decide and this is a vibrant hot pink uh, sort of shade you can see over here uh, that it's a very vibrant hot pink shade i personally don't like these type of um, hot hot pink shades on my complexion also it's quite patchy i found it to be quite patchy compared to the other shades that i've swatched i don't think this will uh, suit all skin tones like it might kind of wash you out or make your complexion look dull like personally uh, in the mirror when i see it's making my complexion look very dull and dark if you like hot pink shades and if you are of a fair complexion then you could def um, then you could check this shade out so yeah this was the shade 128 i decide this is the shade number 115 i am worth it and uh, this is a very vibrant orange based uh, red shade um, i've seen some people describe it as like a pinkish red but on my lips and even in the uh, and even in the hands watch in no way do i find it a uh, pinkish red it's like a full blown red with a uh, orange undertones to it um, obviously it's going to suit all skin tones and the pigmentation on this lipstick was uh, really nice so yeah this was the shade uh, number 115 i am worth it this is the shade number 131 i captivate and this is um, a really nice dark uh, purple plummy shade um it obviously is like a vampy shade it will suit all skin tones i um, like these kind of shades but i don't usually wear them often obviously it's going to suit all skin tones being a vampy shade and all so if you like vampy shades then you could definitely check this one out uh, so yeah this was the shade uh, number 131 eye captivate that was it for the swatches guys now for the review uh, these lipsticks retail for i think 650 rupees each for 7 ml of product uh, but if you go on flipkart i just checked and uh, there seems to be like an offer going on uh, each lipstick was 453 but only few shades for other shades the price was 650 only but uh, there is another offer like 10% off or if you buy um if you buy products worth 1000 then you get like 20% extra 20% off on that uh, so you could uh, make use of those offers and also on amazon i think it is um, being sold for 450 uh, 453 rupees not all the shades like few of them and few are being sold for 650 itself on nika all of them are being sold for 650 but they go on discount uh, quite often i have seen on flipkart and amazon so keep an eye on that if you want to purchase one of these lipsticks now let's see the claims uh, so first they claim that there is no flaking absolutely i agree with that there is absolutely no flaking on this uh, lipsticks whatsoever no smudging um let's see Hmm. Hmm. So they don't. So they didn't really smudge. That is also true. No drying out is completely, completely true because there is no drying out with these lipsticks. Like I have, I have um, not applied any moisturizer or lip balm right now, and they are like they look really plump. Like my lips still look really plump. So I like that. they've said that they have intense color payoff now i don't uh, find that to be true i mean they have good color payoff i would say but you could still uh, you know see the pigmentation peeking through like the pigmentation of my lips peeking through at least for this shade and this is the shade i uh, represent 
then they say that they have a unique oil and water formula and they have said that um, they have 8R impact um, 8R impact I won't necessarily agree with that because um, when I wore these lipsticks like yesterday I wore it for a full day and it lasted for about uh, 4 to 5 hours without any you know heavy oily meals because these lipsticks are will not uh, withstand oily meals now the things that i like about this lipstick first and foremost i like their packaging secondly i love that they are so lightweight and um if you see on their l'oreal paris uh, if you see on the l'oreal paris um website like the us website they have not mentioned these lipsticks as liquid lipsticks rather they have mentioned it as um i think lip stains i believe which is just quite apt because um, these lipsticks are more like lip stains and not liquid lipsticks they've got the consistency of a lip stain as well like it's very liquidy in a good way they do have a weird fragrance it's not very prominent like once you apply it on your lips you cannot really uh, smell it but then you can smell it in the tube itself that's all you will not be able to take these lipsticks off without like an oil based remover you will require oil, uh, you will require an oil based remover to take these lipsticks off um, and they will stain your lips as I said earlier um, these are more like lip stains rather than liquid lipsticks because they are more like lip stains when they fade they leave like a really nice um, uh, tint on your lips mostly it is like a pinkish tint no matter which um, lipstick shade you apply it's mostly like a pinkish tint and i love that about liquid lipsticks like whenever a li um, whenever a lipstick fades it leaves like a tint it does not look ugly it does not look flaky and it is very very easy to reapply you can like you know you can apply multiple layers and it will not look flaky or patchy or you know crusty on your lips and they are very comfortable even if you reapply it again and again so that is what i love about these lipsticks even about the pricing 650 not being too high um i still feel that when these um, when these lipsticks go on sale it's quite a good buy like for 453 rupees i feel these are really worth it like i'm i i really like these these are very comfortable and these if you let them dry uh, for about like 15 or 20 minutes these will not transfer i've heard many people say uh, that uh, they do transfer on your teacups or whatever now this lipstick has been on for about good 20 minutes uh, but i don't think this will transfer let's just test that So you see, there's no transfer. There's no transfer whatsoever. So if you like any of the shades that I've just swatched, then I feel like you should definitely have it. Go for at least one of these lipsticks. But only if you like uh, lip stains, because these will definitely stain your lips. That is a given. So that was it for the review, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.